People are outraged that Angela Bassett has received her first Oscar. Wait, is that supposed to be a good thing? Cue the intro. intro. We are back with another episode for the new year. I am your girl, Danny the Doll. And I am Sophie Joe, and, and you, you are, are watching, watching Sister Sound Off. Guys, this is a show where our voices can be heard and celebrated. We have everything you need from hot, juicy topics mm-hmm. to deep discussions. And guess what? They're all from a sister's point of view, okay? And we do mean sisters we are blood related and mm-hmm. also sisters, sisters. Okay. okay Martin Luther King's birthday is coming up actually yeah so shout out to MLK day coming up uh and what? all that you've done yes January 15th gone but not forgotten and Miss Coretta trust me we are putting respect on your oh, name, your name. And that's Coretta okay. Jonathan okay <laughs> no majors um <laughs> while we're talking about some celebrities let's go ahead and get into our first segment of sister celebrity scoop we, we got, got the, the latest news, news and the gossip for you. Bow, Ooh. bow. All right, guys. Up first for the Celebrity Scoop, we are talking about Angela Bassett and this whole 2024 Oscar receiving that she just got. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard our, the legendary Miss Angela Bassett. who has put been, respect to her name. Has been in the game since... I was a little girl. Even before then. Before then. I mean, we're not even going to go down the list of the things she's done. But she's finally received her Oscar this past... Two, 2024. Yeah. Oscars um, came on recently this past Sunday. Yeah. First off, I want to say I love the dress and the outfit. She is, looks amazing. As always. Um, And she has a super strict beauty regimen and just physical, healthy and lifestyle. Yes. She did an interview, I think, with Variety Magazine or Vanity Fair years ago, and she just kind of broke down, you know, what it takes to maintain Angela Bassett. And I just thought it was really cool. Yeah. And, you She's know. a super, not only aspiring, but healthy woman. That can be aspiring, too, so. Yeah, okay. I need to get my health under control. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, so recently she has just received an honorary Oscar award. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because a lot of people have been a little outraged or upset that she's getting it as kind of like a, you know, here, we're giving this to you because we're basically tired of hearing people say, you know, why haven't you gotten one yet for all the roles you've played? Yeah. Now, for me, of course, we're all super happy for I mean, we all know this is long overdue. If you know, you know, okay? Not everybody knows about Miss Angela, but that's okay. Right. Um, She's been to, she's been somebody that should have gotten this and we're super happy for her now to me someone broke it down and said that this oscar honorary award is actually a higher one it covers everything all of the work and everything that they've done throughout the years right um and you know of course that's what someone says we don't know for sure but regardless of what the reason is we're happy she has one, at least for me. Yeah, I think it's great that she has received yeah. this Oscar honorary, but also I think it is low key, not a slap in the face, but I can see why some people are a little offended because yeah. all the great roles she's played, you guys never thought she was worthy enough to get a role to get an Oscar for one of those great roles. Yeah. So now it's like, and she's getting older, it's kind of like, let's just give her one, you know. Yeah. You know, after um, Jamie Lee won over her for her role in the Halloween movie, which some people thought was a joke. Yep. Now, don't get me wrong. Jamie Lee's been in the game for, I mean, she's been doing Halloween since, what, the 70s? And, you know, everything from that to, like, Freaky Friday and all these other things. Um, So she she deserved that. No one's taking that from her. However, it's like... And this goes hand in hand with... Halloween versus... Wakanda. Oh, right. Uh, Come on now. A Halloween movie versus somebody playing, the, you know, do you know what I mean? Breaking so, box office numbers. Yeah. And as much as we, you know, people want to act like he doesn't exist, this goes hand in hand right along with the same things that former actress uh, Taraji, Taraji B. Henson P. has been talking about. Yeah. Being an African-American actress in Hollywood, you know, 
you're not always celebrated how you should be, awarded how you should be, paid how you should be. Oh, right. So, yeah, but with this situation, um, regardless of the circumstances, shade or no shade, she was very excited and honored. So as long as she and her team are happy for her well-deserved Oscar, right, right, right. we are too. Of course. So shout out to Miss Angela Bassett, okay? Now... Um, for somebody who ain't doing so good. Oh my gosh, guys. You know what? Our next story is none other than we haven't heard from him in a while, but he does he do be in a couple of scandals himself. We're talking about former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Peter or Patricia Thomas. Yes, okay. <laughs> Papa Smurf, y'all, has been spending his time over the weekend behind bars. He locked up, they won't let him out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so guys, it was released that Peter Thomas was arrested for not drunk while driving, drunk under the influence, a DUI. Um, also no ID and expired tags. tags. Now I will say in Peter's defense, I often drive without a license all the time because in my mind, my wallet's at home, I use Apple Pay, and then I'm thinking, um, the police, if they pull you over, they can just pull up your ID on whatever their yeah. computer but anyways he got arrested on all three of those uh different things yeah um the thing that got me was okay no license okay you're driving and then no tag sir like where was you going exactly and <laughs> come on now peter you're too old to be running around with no tags now nah. right come now on. while we are talking about peter i did want to bring up just a few months ago or maybe last year he was also in the headlines for rumors of not paying his employees at all his different bar slash restaurant yeah, slash lounges that he owns. Diddy. I'm not paying my bandmates. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't paying his employees. Um, now, we did want to say he did post bail for $3,000, but while we're on this subject, I want to say real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Since we're talking about him, guys, please comment down below if you agree with me. We all know Real Housewives of Atlanta sucks right now. So would it not make sense for them to recast, bring, real quick, real quick, sorry, this is off topic, but because Peter's always in the headlines and Cynthia Bailey is just going through a divorce, we can bring them two back on the show. That's already going to bring in eyes. Portia and her new life married to the African rich man. That's the storyline. Nene being single and going through life without Greg, another storyline. I mean, <sighs> bravo, hire me. I mean, you could... Yeah, revamp it and call it Housewives OGs or Housewives, um, yeah. Housewives re reunited or something. But anyways, we see people who have stuff going on. They need to bring them back. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, uh, Peter, get yourself together, okay? Please, sir. You, you know, get them tags. You embarrassing your kid, <laughs> right. Embarrassing you and Cynthia's daughter out here. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so... Hopefully that goes better. Uh, Miss Taraji P, guys, is next on our list for the scoop. Now, of course, you guys know we gave you a little bit of scoop on the last previous episodes, talking about her and her frustrations with the industry right. and how they're basically just shitting on her and her work, her being underpaid, how the trailers that she was working in on certain movie sets were infested with bugs, how she had to ride her own car yep. on the sets. Just all kind of crap that a woman of her status should not be going through. Mm -mm. Shoot, nobody, low key, honestly. Yeah. Um, so with this um, comes Miss, not her co star, but if you guys remember, she did play her sister on Empire. And we're talking about Mrs. Vivica A. Fox. Yes. With that, she has recently um, spoke out a little bit. After someone asked her while she was going, I don't know where she was TMZ, going. of course. They everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, how does she feel about the whole situation with Taraji? And this is what she had to say. Do you feel like um, now is the perfect time to have the conversation that Taraji kind of continued over Monique? You know, you're an actress. You've been out there. Is this the perfect time to kind of talk about that in the right platform? You know, darling, to each his own. Do you know what I mean? I'm very happy, very blessed. And... Uh, to each his own. I didn't have that experience, so, you know, but to uh, get your peace out is important. I totally understand that. And uh, I love my girls for hey looking guys. out for each other, but uh, I'm good. Vivica A. Fox coming out saying, you know, I'm good. I didn't have that experience. 
that's cool because everybody's not going to have a terrible experience yeah. in Hollywood being black. But some people are saying, you know, what a time to show support for your fellow sister, you know, and maybe saying maybe she should have had her back more or saying, you know, my heart goes out to her or something more along those lines. But if that wasn't her experience, then that wasn't her experience. Yeah, for me, um, I kind of see, I, I didn't get that. I can see why pe- people was trying to amplify that, oh, she didn't really care because she, it wasn't her, you know, experience, her, it wasn't her situation. But she said nothing wrong. She just spoke the truth. And because she did say, you know, um, I've never experienced that. I've been blessed. However, she said, I'm glad to see my sister being supported by others. And then she followed by, by saying, you should always speak your truth. Yeah. Like she, she said that. She's yeah. like, I didn't go through this, but that doesn't mean she shouldn't speak her piece. And I'm glad to see that my sisters all supported her and she's good. Yep. And she also came out recently again and said that she would love to work with Taraji again. We would love to see that. Vivica Fox, no matter what you may think about her and her plastic surgery, she has... A great acting career as well, yeah. in my opinion. She's been in the yeah. Miss Vivica's been in the game since uh, the nineties. Yeah. Before. So yeah, I would uh, love to see them, you know, tear a screen up together again because yeah. they were really, really great chemistry from Empire. Yeah, and I'm I'm hoping that we don't because I love my people, but you know how sometimes we like to stretch stuff and drag stuff. I really hope this does not turn into. Oh, the Taraji and Vivica B. You know, you know how people like to spend Spin stuff. stuff, and it's like it's not even like that. She's supporting her, but she's also speaking her truth. She right. doesn't have the experience, and that is okay, guys. Right. Everybody relax; it ain't no beef. It's fine, you know. Yeah. So we'll, we'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully, we don't have to because they they won't drag this out like they mm. all said. Yeah. But um, <laughs> before we get to our next story, guys, I hope y'all are tuned in. You can watch us on YouTube visually and check out our set. But you can also make sure you are listening via wherever you get your podcast: Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeart, all that good stuff. Yes, and we're also, of course, on all social medias with Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok. So, uh, yeah, guys, make sure you are checking us out. We have more great content coming. Let's get into this next scoop. Yes, so this scoop, guys, is a great one, especially for a moonwalker like me. <laughs> you. <laughs> If y'all didn't know, <laughs> if y'all did not know this, well, you guys should start or just now getting to know. Yeah, it. yeah. Danielle is, or Danny the Doll, my bad. Oh, it, real name's Danielle. Again, y'all right, getting to know right. us. <laughs> Danny the Doll is a huge fan of Michael Jackson. She's been since birth, low key. So, yeah. uh, this story coming up is really exciting. Yeah, and like I said, you know, a true moonwalker. For those of you who don't know what a moonwalker is, it is just a little nickname that Michael gave his fans. I don't know how long back, just like the Beehive and uh, the Barbs for Nicki Minaj. But yeah, so long story short, his lovely nephew, who looks just like a Jackson, I think he's Jermaine's son. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, sounds just like him. Great voice. Seems like a great person. He is starring in the new upcoming biopic for Michael Jackson story. Now, we ain't doing this no lifetime thing. And in no chance, no, because last time, sometimes y'all do get it right. Right. But this is going to hit the edges, y'all, because, you know, this MJ, so they got to do it big. Um, Major I, man. Yeah. I'm just happy they finally found somebody. Now, what they're, of course, we, I'm sure you guys have heard this been, you know, kind of in the works. Maybe you've seen it in the vlogs. Oh, they're trying to work on a Marvel movie. But now it's been confirmed and we now have a date. So it's supposed to be in April 2025, which is not not, not too, too far long. away, y'all. Yeah. This year, it's going to fly by. Yeah, you already know I'm going to have my t-shirt and my coins ready mm-hmm. and everything. Now, you know, let me add in. I'm not, not saying I'm not a fan of Michael Jackson, but I'm definitely not like, yeah, you know, a, a stan, you know. Yeah. But I'm excited to see the movie because I know how impactful yes. Michael Jackson was, not even to, I was going to say the culture, but to the world. So yeah. to see his long, extensive legacy being played in a movie or, you know, bio, biopic, biopic, yeah. biology, whatever, and then his <laughs> nephew is going to be playing him. Yeah. Y'all, this is going to be major. It's going to be major, man. And you already know the thing is going to be packed. Now... 
We couldn't say the story without saying a little shade. We better not be seeing uh Flex Washington. I mean, <laughs> Flex <laughs> Alexander up in there. I know. Yes, like I was like, you know, I'm sure everybody had a little scare. <laughs> oh, they're doing the bombing. Is is Flex anywhere? On and the I set? will put a picture up, guys. If you are listening, <laughs> watch, go to YouTube and watch the yes, picture. I'm for, gonna put up for you young ones who don't know. But they tried to do that. They just they tried to do a movie. I don't know who was on. I know of a lifetime. I don't know what brand. Yeah, that or, was Tubi before Tubi existed. Yeah, this was this came from Shein uh, movie collection. <laughs> but yeah, child. So Flex Alexander from the hit show One Hundred and One played Michael, and I. Y'all, so, we just have to insert the picture. Yeah, the they just threw some chalk dust on him in in a party city wig, and he yeah, he's not gonna get terrible. That. <laughs> but we are definitely looking forward to um, his biopic biopic whatever with his um nephew playing him yeah and he seems so excited for it too, and, and so. ready for it and talented now for it. i i hope he's not the only one that's playing because and no there's no shade to michael we love him but let's keep it real he had about five different faces for five different phases for five different <laughs> faces and decades five different faces for five different phases yeah so i'm like i don't know what the casting is looking like but we got one person so i'm like okay who's playing him as a kid who's gonna do the light skin uh baby not, not uh elder barge version of him Who's going to do the all white version and who's going to do the, you know, the Negro part of him. Right. So So when the movie comes out, y'all know we will keep you updated. We're going to break down the movie, review it, all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Um, Now getting into our last scoop of sister celebrity scoop. Yes. We've got another Kardashian situation and no, it ain't about Chloe and damn. Surprisingly, they've been out the headlines. (laughs) Tristan yeah. and Chloe. Because you know, Chloe says she's single. And now this time I should be watching a couple episodes. I think she is. She that she's really not with them. But who goes to say? But anyway, speaking of them, her sister, Miss Courtney, and her hubby Travis, um, has recently been in the news child because his baby mama has been saying that basically he's been trying to one up her in parenting and that what would she say? Um, you know, he's basically trying to, I don't know the word. She didn't really say show out, but, you know, trying to one-up her because he's got the money and the success. And, you know, she was saying, yeah, you know, you you won. You won. You don't got to, you know, do all of this. And she called it at one point him and Courtney disgusting how they've been trying to, I guess, win over the kid. I don't know what. Now, is this his daughter Alabama's mom speaking out? If so, I think so. If so, it kind of makes sense because uh, Alabama recently turned 18 and she was gifted by her dad a Birkin bag. That's already a house right there. And a G Wagon. That's another house. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if she's speaking of those gifts, she. Yeah. yeah. And my thing is with that is I don't know if. Because we don't know her situation. You know, she could be going through some things financially or she could be fine. But. For her to feel like, well, first of all, I feel like disgusting is is a bit of a stretch. And then, you know, because she, it was almost like she was saying she hated him for being such a, I guess, awesome dad. She was like, he's a great dad, and he's got, yeah, like, you've won, and you don't got to do all this. And what she say, um, we know you've got success and the money, and you're such a good dad. And, and then she threw in disgusting, so I'm like. It's, does she resent him like, a like little bit? She might be feeling like he's doing it on purpose. Like on purpose. The gifts aren't genuine. You doing this just to make me look bad. Look bad. She's probably just feeling a little inadequate to him because just like recently, Ti rapper Ti son D- Damani um, did an interview and he was talking about how growing up he would go to his dad's house and it's like you know he's rich, a giant house, lavish yeah. gifts and stuff, and then on the weekdays he would go back to his mom's house still nice but just a regular house House. a regular lifestyle yeah so uh he always wondered how that made his mom feel and it looks like uh travis barker is yeah his baby mom is saying you know when you show out like this it kind of makes me seem like i'm not doing enough enough and with of course travis and courtney being such big um, names names i mean i hope Hopefully that works out. I hope she doesn't feel that way. I mean, you're a mom. Being a mom and you being a part of your daughter's life and taking care of her every day, girl, that's enough. Don't feel like you got to go up 
and above and all this other stuff like do you love your kid that's all you can do as mm -hmm. parents that comes first before any glamorous gifts or anything else 100% be agree. a parent 100% you agree. can't buy that <laughs> not a good one <laughs> right so guys um that wraps up sister celebrity <laughs> scoop we got the latest news and the gossip for you. So tune in next week for some more latest news and gossip. gossip. <laughs> um, we are going to mosey. Y'all know I get hyped up when it comes down Woo to this. We're going to get into our next segment of Housewife Hot Minute. This is when Danielle, Danny the dog gives me 60 seconds. And only 60. To recap the latest episode of Housewives. This episode, this week, we are going to be doing Real Housewives of Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Y'all didn't think I was hip, did you? Thought I was only watching Potomac and Atlanta because I was black? No, I'll be watching all the girls. <laughs> so we are going to, I'm going to be recapping in 60 seconds, season 13, episode 11. All right. The timer is set. And wait, let me get my thoughts together. Oh, my bad, y'all. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> and go. Clock starts now. Clock starts now. All right, guys. So the girls take a trip to Ojai, California for Anne Marie, the new girl's birthday. First off, the new girl, Anne Marie, she need to go. Sorry. She's not bringing anything exciting to the table, and she is definitely reaching for an argument with Sutton about her esophagus slash throat problems. Damn, man. Uh, <laughs> next, we have Dorit and PK in therapy for their home invasion because Dorit claims she's still suffering from PTSD. It could be true, but a lot of the viewers are thinking that she's just capping you know um pk started crying because he said he felt bad for dorit uh, okay and apparently she's spending up all the money on designer clothes maybe this this uh, maybe this is the reason why this season she's not as uh uh dressed down in lavish designers um next kyle has a celebration of life for her bff who recently died from suicide which is really sad they did a fundraiser um but there were some interesting moments caught on camera between kyle and her secret lesbian lover morgan wade even her ba other bff dorit thought it was kind of weird how they were sharing fruit also the song choice for megan wade was a little inappropriate or a little weird for a celebration of life i'm out of time can i just say one more quick second y'all i thought and we all thought it was a little interesting how kyle's husband Mauricio was not at the celebration of life for her best for her wife for his wife whose wife for his wife whose best friend just killed um herself it was weird that he wouldn't be there to support her this is a, a, a death but anyways y'all that wraps up housewife hot uh, minute y'all I'm trying to get my breath control together <laughs> next thing you know I'm gonna be a rapper so uh be sure to tune in next week who knows if I'm gonna recap Beverly Hills or Potomac or even married to medicine yes all right, guys. So now that we are done with that, let's mosey on down to one of our favorite segments. And it's Who's Making Moves? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just a segment, guys, where we shine a light on somebody who is out here making moves, positive moves, doing great things with their lives, their careers. Maybe they're impacting others. The community. Yeah, because with all of the negative bullshit that we hear every day in social media. And yeah. and we ain't going to hold back either. We be spread, we not spreading, but we be reporting on gossip and celebrity oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we do, like Dale said. Like to shine a light every once in a while on people who is doing something positive. Exactly. And just having a happy, successful life, which this week's suspect is. Yes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Lotto. Big Lotto. Not the little one. Big one from ATL. Clayco. Clayco. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the beautiful Miss Lotto, beautiful black woman, Miss Lotto. I said what I said. Well, she is mixed. Yeah, but I'm just, well, I know some rappers were trying to call out her white side. Oh, Lord, we couldn't have had a barbs eating us up. No, it, but it's true. Like, she's, okay. of course we know she's biracial, but she's, I mean, you know, identify as, all right, we gonna just get on into her success. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, people like to call her no, not. I, who, I mean, I know. Hey, yeah, like, now if we're in America, curious, the one drop rule, you got one piece of black and you, you consider 100% yeah, black. Yeah, but of course, biologically, if you're multi-racist, then that's what you are. Right. Okay, see, let's just get into this and not talk about all other stuff. Yeah. So we're going to run down a couple of her accolades and huge achievements, which I don't even know the girl personally, but I'm proud of her. Yeah, because she's come a long way. She's faced a lot of adversity and... Yes, guys. So, um... 
first off, a lo- not saying that this is when she first started popping, because she's been rapping for a long time, but a lot of us know her from when rap- she first started on the rap, rap game. game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lifetime's the rap game with Jermaine Dupri. Yeah. She was doing ciphers and writing bars and spitting left and right, <laughs> trying to right. earn that chain so, so deaf. Yeah, and it's crazy because I think... She- what was it that came out years ago? Did she win? She won, she but she won, didn't sign the deal. She didn't sign the contract, and um, which t- clearly turned out for the better. Cause yep. look at her now. Look at her now. She has been rapping since I think she said she was like nine years old. There's even footage of her rapping as a young kid somewhere so in Atlanta, cute. yeah, some festival. <laughs> um, but ever since then, she has just been consistent in what she knew she wanted to do and yeah. determined. Now she's. What would you say? One of the biggest rap stars out right now. She is. I mean, and you know, she, like I said, she's faced a lot of adversity. I'm sure lost people and people in the industry yeah. doubting her and speaking negative on her name. She's gone through all of that, and she's even found love now. Of course, we can't confirm or deny, but y'all, I'm sure, y'all know who her book is. Twenty one, twenty one. <laughs> but yeah, you know, she seems very happy with that, and I actually like that she keeps her shit. Okay, well, that's the best way to be when you are a celebrity. Because people will get into your relationships and then next thing you know, you're reading comments and next thing you know, what they sing in your head, you think, yeah. it's all kinds of stuff, okay? It's just, yeah, so um, I feel like that. And, um, I mean, some of her awards that she has won, just to name a few, y'all, she has won a BET Hip Hop Award, um, BET, just a record BET Award, a Video Music, Video Music Award, also known as the VMAs, Billboard Awards, and also People's Choice Awards. So... And not only that, I think she's a pretty well-rounded rap artist because she's not just a... Sometimes when you're from Atlanta, you have a certain style of rap. She definitely gives Clayco, don't get me wrong, okay? But also, she can kind of mix it up and do a little bit of pop. Let's not forget about the giant hit she had with the Mariah Carey remix. Big energy, yeah. So, all of that. And then, of course, you know, she's performed at the VMAs. I mean, of course, she started off performing at the small beans and then yep. she went to go from stage. that to performing at the VMAs and having the legendary Mariah, you know, yep. in your song and her album was great because I got a few of them songs on my phone personally. And I think aside from just rapping, I think she's a really good freestyler. She recently did yeah. um, the, I think Double XL all women's mm-hmm. freestyle thing. It was her, Mona Leo, um, uh, what's our girl from Alabama? Flo Millie, who I love. She did a a thing with all the women. They was eating. All of them. Ate it up. So she kind of shows love to other, you know, female rappers. Yeah. Which is really great. Yeah. I mean, she's worked with everybody from Cardi B to these women to my girl from Atlanta, Amaretta. Oh, yeah. To, um, oh, and of course, Meg Thee Stallion. She was on one of her songs as well on the album. And, I mean, she's just really been doing her thing, you guys. So, oh, and... Of course, I forgot. She's had a couple endorsement deals. Right now, she's with Halls. Y'all know the cough drops. Cough drops. Well, so she's written her own bars and her own um, phrases on the rappers. So if you if y'all feel sick, <laughs> <laughs> go to your store and grab you some Halls. And apparently, there's like a little like little inspirational saying. Saying, yeah, in and by Lotto. So yeah, that's, that's pretty, cool. pretty cool. And then of course, she's done a uh, food commercial with. The legendary pop singer Miss Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah. And I'm look you guys check that out. They did a great job. I actually thought I was watching a music video. Like yeah. Christina with the vocals and then of course Lotto did her thing. They looked great. It was awesome. So And lastly, um, maybe last year in the summer I think, Lotto had her own meal at Wingstop. She was like a brand ambassador <gasps> yeah, for Wingstop. Yeah. Um it was like lemon pepper or something, lemon garlic. I tried it and I liked it, okay? Because yeah. lemon pepper wings <laughs> and then you add Lotto with her mix on there, really great. So, yeah. so uh, she's been she's been doing her. She's been working. The girl been working, okay. Yeah. And we want to say, you know, shout out to Lotto. Used to be known as Moo Lotto, now Big Lotto, not the little one. <laughs> um, and we just can't wait to see what more her career has to bring. And uh, yeah, that's who is making moves for this episode. Yes, and tune in next week right here on our show, or you can listen to us, of course, on all streaming platforms yes. for the next person who is making moves. And if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Yeah, put them down in the comments. Uh, let us know who you want to shout out. 
next one us to shout out next week you know and we'll we'll check it out guys so now that we found love what are we gonna do with it shout out to heggy d yeah so guys we're at the end and of course you know we have to end this right by giving you a dose of danny yes and it's called danny stoves and it's just a little inspiration to have you guys start off your week a little positivity start or end your week whenever you're watching this yeah now for this one um i thought it was lovely and it goes for everybody so you can relate and it goes like this don't compare your life to others there is no comparison between the sun and the moon they both shine when it's their time Oh, I, oh, come on. Like, don't oh. compare your life to others. The sun and the moon don't compare it. They both get their time when it's time for them to shine. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> put that on a t shirt. So yeah. I told them, would y'all buy it? <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, I mean, it's true. It's like, especially these days with social media, we are so quick to, oh my God, look what they're doing. Look what I'm not. Look what they got. Look what I don't. You know, it's like, you can't compare what you see. Like, you have your time. Like, of course, one of, and speaking of her, since we're on this, Lotto, one of my favorite songs by her. Um, Sunshine on me. me. Sunshine on me. Like, it's a great inspirational song, but it's like, it's kind of like that, you know? Give yourself a chance to shine, but don't rush it. Don't compare it. Don't force it. When it happens, it's going to happen. And know who you are mm, that's a good one mm -hmm. i love that and that's y'all well anyways yeah <laughs> but that's a little dose for you guys to take with you this week thank you episode again five. for watching us. this is episode or we're on episode six don't let us get to episode 10 and episode 10 you know we're gonna do a big and let me tell you something right now camera zoom in on me <laughs> if you are listening to this if you made it to this part in the episode and you still haven't hit that subscribe button on youtube what are you waiting you're for? playing yourself <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Right. Hit the red subscribe button right now. <laughs> anyway, it's we coming after you. We know, <laughs> we know who you are watching and not and not subscribing. Anyways, guys, um, we are gonna get out of here. We have actually coming up soon, so be on the lookout. We have a segment or a new show or a new little thing we're doing. <laughs> it's gonna be called a sip with, with sis. sis. We're gonna be diving into some deep conversations and just really, boy. We're going to be diving into <laughs> some deep conversations and just really getting into it. Yes. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. We're going to be speaking on things, you know, that you guys may talk about, but don't go into detail about. Right. And, you know, things that we feel like the community needs to hear. Exactly. And we're just going to give our point of view. Of course, with some booze on the side. On the side. So, guys, I am Sophie Joe, And I am Danny the Tom. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next one.